Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing good. Let's start the another interesting topics of WebRTC tutorial series. In the last video, we have implemented our first WebRTC video call application. So today let us see the demonstration of that application. If you want to see the client and server side implementation of this application, please go and watch our previous videos. First of all, welcome all to Engineering Semester channel. Here we are providing new emerging technologies tutorials. If you are new to this channel or new to this WebRTC series, please go and watch our introduction part first. If you are new to this application, let's do a recap. We are using Node.js with WebSocket as server-side script and HTML with JavaScript as front-end client-side. JavaScript allows us to add dynamic behaviors and add special effects to the web page. WebRTC technology provide different interface library in the JavaScript. In this application, we have used some of the core APIs like Get User Media, RTC Peer Connection, RTC Data Channel, etc. Once you have downloaded the Git repository of this application, you can see the complete code base like this. To start the application, you have to run the server first. Before that, make sure you have installed all the node dependencies. You can simply run the command npm install to check that. After installing all the dependencies, we can run the server by running node command. Once the server start, you can see the message like this with port number. Now let us run the client site HTML page. To demonstrate the application, I am loading the same HTML page into two tabs of the Chrome browser. In the first tab, I have logged with test user 1 as username. And in the other tab, I have logged with test user 2 as username. This client site application won't allow you to use the same username. You have to use unique username for the login. Once you have successfully logged into the application, you can see a home page like this. You can see the online user list in the left side of this page. If you want to call another user, you can simply press the call button. Based on the other user availability, once you have pressed the call button, WebRTC asks us to allow the permission of camera and microphone. This is achieved by using Get User Media API. In the caller's side, you can see the outgoing pop-up window like this. At the same time, in the callee side you can see incoming call pop-up window with accept or reject button. Once callee press the accept button, WebRTC will ask permission for the camera and microphone. After the successful WebRTC negotiation, you can see a video call window with both camera streams of caller and callee. This application also allow us to do text chatting during video call. You can simply send the message between each other. Each time when you get a new message, you can see a notification message count in the title of this application as well. This application allows us to show and hide the camera streams using the buttons. In the caller or callee side, user can hide or enable the camera. Once they have hide the camera, the camera streams will be removed from the application. If they enable it again, the camera streams will be appeared. We can do the same for audio as well. User can mute and re-enable the audio in this application. Finally, if you want to leave from the video call page, you can simply press the leave button. This will close all the WebRTC connection in the background. Now let us see the constraints of this video call application. First, you cannot send any attachment during the text chatting of this application. But this can be implemented later or by yourself using blob concept. You already know that WebRTC is not storing any messages in the server. So that you can't able to get the previous conversations of the users once they quit the video call. This also can be implemented using a database concept. Another constraint is, this video call application only support one-to-one -one connection. Due to WebRTC peer connection restrictions, we cannot handle multiple users. We can design multi-user video call application later in this WebRTC series. I hope you got a complete idea of the WebRTC video call application now. If you want, you can customize this application by adding more features. And during any point of time, 
If you have any issues, feel free to comment below. We will try to answer you as soon as possible. That's it for now. See you soon with another video. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.